Hello everyone, this is RLG here. First video with voice, I know, right? This video is mainly going to show you how you can fix disk errors in Borderlands 2. I'm using an Xbox 360 Elite with a 120 gigabyte hard drive. I also have a 32 gigabyte USB in it right now. Uh, I started noticing three games of mine were giving me random disk errors. No other games, just these specific three ones. Uh, what this does is it'll push you out of the game back to the dashboard and then you have to boot back up like it's one of those old PCs you used to use back in the day. Uh, it can be real frustrating. I, uh, I actually bought Modern Warfare 3 again, digital copy, because it was so annoying. And then for Battlefield 3, I installed the game on the hard drive and that seemed to fix it. But for Borderlands 2, it fixed it at first and then it came back after I got another compatibility pack put in it. And I'll show you how I fixed it. What you're going to want to do is go into your Xbox dashboard, System Settings, Storage, go to wherever your Borderlands 2 is saved, which is probably the hard drive because I think you can only install it there. Go into Games and Apps, scroll down to your Borderlands 2 file. Okay, now when you get into here, you're going to scroll down until you find Compatibility Pack 1 and 2. You're going to need a USB drive. What you're going to do though is, I don't have it here because I've already done it, but you'll click it, it'll give you this menu, and you're going to go Move, and you move the two compatibility packs into the USB drive. Now next time you get in the game, for me luckily, I haven't had any disk errors for about two days now before I was getting three or four disk errors within an hour. So to me it feels like it worked. When a new compatibility pack comes out, I don't know. It might be broken again, but we'll see. I'll show you if you go in here, this is all I have saved for Borderlands 2 on my USB drive. I also want to show you something else inside of Borderlands 2. I'm going to start it up right now. Hopefully the picture is decent because I am recording a TV rather than having a plug or something into it. What I'm going to show you though is there's a skin pack you buy and what I did was I deleted and re-downloaded it because I lost these things from some glitch they had. I also lost the tokens. But the tokens I got fixed easy. I just had to replace them. But for this skin I tried undownloading it and re-downloading it and then seeing if it would show up in any of the characters inventories but it didn't. And uh, the, the solution was very simple but it was not my first thought. Uh, you're gonna go in the game too, the same way you did before, even though even though those other two things were saved on the USB, you're still gonna click hard drive when you go in. As long as the game and stuff still saved on that. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make a new character and I'll show you what I mean. Let's say uh, Commando, I don't know. New game. Now when we finally are able to open our inventory, it's going to have all the items that you've ever downloaded pretty much right there when you start up. You can just learn the skins on this guy and it should put them on your main characters. But if you want to, you can run ahead a little bit and there's a stash right in that first room where Claptrap's at. And you can put it in there. I wouldn't delete this character if you're not going to keep him until you get the item on your main character though. Because I don't know. I mean it could mess it up. But you could always just make another character again. And you'll always get him. Let's see. These little messages are going to pop up for everything that you have unlocked.
and there they are. I am making a Microsoft Paint video soon. It'll probably be in the same fashion, but probably a little bit better quality. And uh, I really hope the video helped, and thanks for watching, guys.